Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Today, as you can see, I'm not in the lounge. I am actually in a different place in my house. I am in my dining room slash living room with my Christmas tree behind me because I figured it's a pretty good setting, isn't it? Anyway, today's fan mail, so I've got quite a few to read. I'm going to get right to it. So grab yourself something cold to drink, sit back and relax. So, first one, uh, believe it or not, but these are all from the same person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. I think you got carried away. I'm only reading one. I have so many. If I read all these, I'd have to dedicate a, a fan mail just, just to you, Christian. Anyway, I'm going to pick one. That feels a little fat. Some of these have more than one thing in them. This has two. Let me see if I can find one that only has one letter in it. Well, you know what? I'll just read one letter out of it. Anyway, Christian, I don't know how you have that much time on your hands, buddy. But you have to be my number one fan to give me this much uh, mail. Oh, I didn't even open this one. And there's two inside. Well, let's see how long. Oh, that's right. Your handwriting is so hard to, to read. Hey, Larry, what's your religion? What do you believe in? And you need to play Minecraft and stuff on... Wow. I can't read half of this. What is my religion? I am a Christian. <clears throat> I actually used to go to a Methodist church. I was born and raised Lutheran. Okay, what type of phone do you have? Why? What? I can't read half of your writing. Sorry. Can't read half of your writing. Let's see what this one says. My name is Christian, and I know that. Do you know me? How can I not? You send me, you send me mail every week. You have to be the number one fan. You have to be. Also, please say hey to my, I don't know if it says Uncle Kenny. I don't know. And Tom, yes, I have a sort of Uncle Tom. Not your son, Tom, either. Of course. Love your videos. Okay, Christian, thank you so much. I can't believe you take all this time to write so many letters and stuff, man. Your mom's going to kill you how many stamps you use. Just one letter. That's all I need. One letter. But if you want to write that many, just remember, I'm only going to read one, though, on fan mail. I'll read the rest of them on my own time, but fan mail, I'm only reading one. Next one is... Oh, I thought there was something else in there. It's an envelope. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read that one. I'm going to try. Hi there, Larry. So I just wanted to send you a small letter today. I have been watching your grilling videos for quite some time now and would like to hear your opinion on something. Does it matter where the food comes from? This is the most common discussion I have with my friends. Is it really possible to taste the difference in meat or other groceries? that comes from different pro providences, is I guess that's what you're, you're saying. My personal opinion on the subject is yes, it is possible to taste the difference. Not everyone agrees with me on this. What's your opinion on this? I believe so. I, um, I, and are you talking about meat or, or vegetables and stuff and such? And, and, and yeah, vegetables even, the, the soil makes it taste different. Um, 
Jersey tomatoes taste entirely different than other tomatoes, or if you raise tomatoes in greenhouses, Jersey tomatoes taste entirely different. Same thing with corn. And uh, I'm sure a lot of places are like that. So your soil matters for, for your vegetables. And with meats, of course it does. It matter, matters what the animal is being fed. You know, for instance, if you ate a wild turkey, it's not going to taste like a farm turkey that's raised on a whole different kind of food. So, yes, of course it does. That's my opinion, and I think it's pretty much factual. So, thank you, though. Did I? Did you have a name on there? Mattias. Mattias? I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for that letter. Christian Baker, also, thank you for your letters, too. If I didn't say that, I am very grateful. Dear Uncle Larry, my name is Kevin, and I love to watch your videos. I like to watch chilling and grilling and gaming at the lounge. It would be an honor for you to read this. Please tell Tom and Jesse hi. Can you, Jesse, and Tom sign it? Thank you. Sincerely, Kevin. I will sign it. Tom will sign it. I will not ask Jesse to sign anything. So anybody that's asked me to get Jesse's signature, it's not going to happen. It, only me and Tom. So you got to settle for ours. But thank you for that letter. And this one, we got some some cards in here. Okay, looks like some baseball cards. Well, this will be short and sweet. Uncle Larry Austin. That's all he had to say. Seriously, in case you didn't believe me, that's all he had to say. Short and to the point. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you for that letter, Austin. You still took time to write that, so that's kind of cool. Oh, there's a penny in here. I think this is from, I think this is from England. That's kind of cool. Let's see. To Uncle Larry, my name is Alex, and I'm from the UK. I'm 12, year old, 12 years old, 13 in December. Ooh, that's coming up close, isn't it? You're going to be a teenager. I have been watching your videos for a long time now, and I think Jeffrey deserved to have his PS4 broken. I'm a big fan of them both, and you of course, but I do believe you were in the right for not being there when Jesse and Corn pushed Jeffrey into the hole. I would die if you sent me an autograph, but I don't know if English stamps work in America. Thank you. P.S. Sorry for my handwriting. Please can you try and get Jesse to sign it. P.P. P.S. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> um, again, I won't, I won't ask Jesse to sign it. He's got enough of this stuff to do for himself. I will have, however, and I don't, I don't believe I can use English stamps on, on the, the envelope, so I'll probably send that envelope back to you. And uh, you didn't put, oh yeah, you did put your address on. Um, and I will just use American stamps for that, but yeah, I don't believe that, the, that they would work at our post office. Thank you so much for your letter. I appreciate it. I will get you, I will get that out to you though. Hey Uncle Larry, how you doing? I sent one of these letters at the same time to Jesse from Yorkshire in England. My name is Jay and I'm 13 years old and a proud subscriber of 395,818. Okay. You're such a nice and generous guy, but you get dragged into a lot of unnecessary stuff. Although what you did to Jeffrey's PS4 was funny as hell. What's your take on Jesse smashing a bottle over Jeffrey's head? My take on it is, is that you shouldn't hit somebody over the head with a bottle. He could have killed him. He could have gave him brain damage. He could have, he could have, a lot of bad things could have happened. I don't know. A lot of times with Je Jesse, he doesn't think before he does stuff. He just reacts. I don't know if you do anything like this, but give me a call. Would be amazing or follow me on Twitter. I would follow you on Twitter. Just hit me up on Twitter and I'll, and I'll follow you. Remind, remind me of, of who you are. Um, 
I'm not going to call you because then you'll know my phone number and I don't give my phone number out. And he wrote Larry's Lounge on there. That's kind of cool too. Did you write your name down here? Oh, Jay. Thanks so much, Jay. I really appreciate it. See how fast Uncle Larry forgets. He reads something and then he forgets the name already. I am like really, really bad with names to begin with. Okay. To Uncle Larry, I am Adam. I'm 12 years old and I live in Georgia, but I'm in the UK at the moment. I love Christmas. I love it if you could send me something to my house in the UK for Christmas. And what do you mean by something? You mean like my autograph? If you want to send my friend something, here's his address. <laughs> if, you, if your friend wants something, he's going to have to send me a letter and ask for it himself. That's a good try, though. Let's see. And next one is... Oh, this is like... Dang, that's like professional. What's up, Uncle Larry? Please read entire letter on camera. My name is Casey and I'm from Glen Burnie, Maryland, and I am one of your biggest fans. I am a 19 year old man. I literally watch your channel and Jesse's channel like it is a religion. I usually watch as soon as your videos are released. I really enjoy your chilling and grilling series. You make some amazing foods. I hope this gets featured in fan mail. If you could, would you please send yours and Tom's autograph? I will include a self-stamped addressed envelope to make it easier for you. Could you say hello to my dad, Chuck, and my brother, Josiah, for me? How's it going, Chuck and Josiah? I see how you and Tom get along so nicely and you both make a great team. You are a wonderful father to Tom, and you make a great uncle to all that watch your videos. I just want to thank you because all of my uncles are not in my life and you fill in that empty space. Thank you. I am going to be in the New Jersey area on Saturday, November 28th. And today's December 1st, so that already happened. And was wondering if we could meet up and have lunch or something. My friend, brother, and I are all fans of yours. Maybe we can get Jesse and Corn to join as well. That would be a dream come true. Thank you for taking the time to read this letter. Sincerely, your lounger, chiller, baller, and griller, Casey. No hate needed, just love. You know, Casey, thank you so much. And, and had this come, you know, actually before the 28th, I would have, maybe I would have been able to hook that up. I don't know. I would have had to check with them guys. But thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And yes, I will send that, uh, send you an autograph. I wish, I wish I would have. Got to give me a little bit more notice than that, though, if we're going to try to hook up something with getting together or something, so. Dear Larry, my name is Brandon, or you can call me World of Awesomeness. <laughs> Sorry about my handwriting. I got three questions for you. Number one, what do you do when you are not on camera? That's most of the time. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, what do I do? I do a lot of stuff. I mean, housework, you know, outside, inside, cooking, working, a lot of stuff. Number two, do you look up to Jesse as a role model? <laughs> and not at all. Three, how's your day going? Today, particularly, it's going great. It's rainy outside, so I can't do anything outside, but you always gotta look at the bright side of everything. That means I get to spend a day inside. I get to read some amazing letters. It's all good. Tell Tom and Jesse I said hi. Make sure to check out my channel, World Awesomeness. Sincerely, Brandon. Thank you so much, Brandon. Make sure you hit me up in the comment section so I can uh, check out your channel.
Dear Uncle Larry, I just recently subscribed to your channel. Well, welcome aboard. I really love your video, but I think my favorite is Ballin' Like Larry or your Chillin' and Grillin' videos. I really think it was nice of you to help Jesse with the, with the room. And one question of mine is, what is your favorite basketball team? I really don't have a favorite basketball team. When I used to follow um, pro basketball, it used to be the Bulls. Um, you know, I, I loved the Lakers at one time and the Sixers also. Um, they were my three favorite teams, only because I had so much respect for some of the players that were on the team. But uh, I haven't, I don't follow pro basketball anymore. I just find it a joke um, as far as like, you, you know, the rules are so lenient in, in um, professional basketball where, you know, traveling and double dribble, all that kind of stuff is so ridiculous. It's, you know, you would think the higher the level that you go up, the, the more strict that the refs would be and everything, but it's quite the other way around. Plus, I also don't like the fact that if you're a superstar in the NBA, you get all the calls. It's just the way it goes. I gave up on that a long time ago. I'd much rather watch college. P.S. Sorry for the handwriting and spelling. Most important, I love Garfunkel. Um, sincerely, Bell. Bella? Bell? I don't know. B-L-L-E. I'm not exactly sure. Is that Bell or Bella? Bella? I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for that. Garfunkel appreciates that, and just so everybody knows, I know that somebody wrote on Twitter that, you know, they heard that Garfunkel passed away. Garfunkel is alive and well, so just want to put that out there. She sleeps too much to, to die. She's, she doesn't do anything to die. She'll probably live till she's probably about 20. Blessings to you on Thanksgiving from His Abundance we have all received one gracious blessing after another. Hugs from loved ones, delicious smells in the air, smiles and laughter. There is so much to share. May God bless you and yours this Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to Larry, Tom, and Garfunkel with love, Heather. Thank you, Heather. It's after Thanksgiving, but you know what? I'll put that card out here anyway. Thank you so much, Heather. Really appreciate that. Heather's my friend. We've been writing each other for a while now. Oh, I think these these two might be the same. From your fan, Michael, from Sacramento, California. Pier 39, San Francisco. Give me a postcard. Dear Uncle Larry, hello, my name is Michael and I am from Sacramento, California. I really like your chilling and growing videos. They are my favorites. I recently sent you a postcard. There it goes. That I got when I went to San Francisco and it says Pier 39 on it. And I also sent one to Jesse and I saw him get it in his fan mail. I hope you get yours soon because I sent this letter and the postcard both at the same time. I like to play basketball too. It's, it's a fun game, one of my all time favorites. You are my favorite YouTuber. Hope you have a great day from Michael. Also hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Well, thank you, Michael. And yes, I did. I had a great Thanksgiving. Ate too much as usual. But that's what Thanksgiving's all about, isn't it? And I like the fact that you love basketball. Okay, this. Hey Uncle Larry, it has been a while. I saw after I sent my second letter you played Skyrim. It was cool. I hope you loved it. What video games have you wanted to play with your son? Well, I think we've, we've played everything that we really want to. There's probably a couple more I gotta get still. I have a lot to tell you. My friend's apartment burned down because of an oil fire. Me and my friends lost everything. How, how do five teens roommating recover from something like that. I feel like it's my fault. Please pray for me and my friends. Any advice? Your friend April from Florida. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I, how do you recover from that? I mean, first you thank God that, that you, nobody was hurt. That's the most important thing. Second of all, uh, possessions can always be replaced. People, people can't. So... You got to look for blessings in, in the midst of everything and, and stop blaming yourself. Uh, I mean, unless you intentionally started the fire, 
then you, you, it's not your fault. So you, know, you should know that. You know that don't don't beat yourself up about it unless you actually started the fire. Then it, you should have no guilt. It's not your fault. Happy holidays. This is my first Christmas card this year. As a matter of fact, look at check out that doll. Isn't that a cute dog? I gotta get me one of them. Uncle Larry and Tom, wishing you a holiday season filled with love and laughter. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, the McQuaid family. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That is my first Christmas card that I've received. And it's really cool. Thank you, April. Matter of fact, I love your name, April. I have a uh, cousin who, whose nickname was... Uh, is April. I said was like she's gone, but she's not gone. Okay, and this is the last one. This one should be a, this should be a short video, I think. Please read on video. Okay. Hey, Uncle Larry, my name is William. I am a big fan of your videos. I am also a big fan of watching McJugger Nuggets. I also like watching Big Brother. I like watching your videos because they help me cook. I love watching McJuggernugget's videos because I like seeing how his life is going. It is not going too well. It is not going too well. I also want to tell you I just had surgery not too long ago and I'm doing well. Can I get your autograph and McJuggernugget's autograph? That would be cool. Could you tell me hi my cousin Jason hi and my cousin Molly hi. Okay, well, there you go. William, Jason, Molly, what's up? Uh, please tell me Jugger Nuggets I said hi. Okay. Uh, and you gave me a little piece of paper for me to sign, and then you gave a place for Jesse to sign. I'm more, than, you know, I'll send that back with my signature. I'll even let Tom sign it if you want. Well, I'm not going to be getting Jesse's, I, you know. Like I said, you guys got to try and get his on your own. I, I can't be pestering him. He's got too much to deal with on his own. So I really appreciate these letters. Give me a week or so to get out those uh, autographs. It takes me a while to get them. I have to, you know, sit down. I have so much stuff to do and stuff. So I'll get to them when I can. But I appreciate each and every single letter I receive. You guys are awesome. So until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax. This could be beer, it could not be. I'm not really sure. I'm, I don't know, it's just a clear bottle with a cover over top of it. We're not sure. Maybe someday I might actually like show a label of something and you guys will know what brand it is. We'll see. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you at the lounge.